There's three things that every young man should be doing to change the trajectory of his life. A year ago, I made the decision to start working remotely because I wanted more financial freedom. I wanted more time freedom. And lastly, I wanted more location freedom to be able to work from anywhere in the world where I want and make as much money as I'd like to. The three things that helped me navigate and create this reality where I'm able to do all of these things. The number one thing that it boils down to is self-belief. You have to believe that you can actually become that person that can make us as much money as you'd want to be, to be able to live the life that he truly wants. If you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. It all boils down to conviction. So there's a lot of self-limiting beliefs that people have about themselves, about what they're able to achieve in life. Self-belief can boil down to a lot of different things. For myself, obviously, visualization, meditation, and affirmations have helped me in the present moment even become that person that I need to become in the future to achieve my goals. Because your actions, your beliefs, your mindsets have to be aligned with the person that you need to become to achieve those goals. So the things that you're doing right now in life, you have to ask yourself, are these actions, beliefs, thought patterns and mindsets pushing me towards my goals or are they taking me away from the path that I need to be on? Obviously, I'm going to make more videos on how to overcome self-limiting beliefs, but the number one thing I can boil it down to is just sit there and realize that you can do it. The things I've accomplished in life thus far aren't mere coincidences. I followed a success roadmap. I looked at people that had the results that I want, the people that are living the lives that I want, and I started doing what they do. I started thinking like they think, obviously reading books, getting around them in person, and just holding to that desire. And then taking the actions day in, day out, enjoying that delicious boredom of putting in the work, the grind, as I like calling it. The second thing is you want to build a skill set. For me, I chose sales, specifically high ticket closing, where I build a vicious skill set now, where I can create value for the companies that I work with. When you're in high ticket sales, it can be rolled under a few different things that you can do. It can be triaging outbound calls. It can be taking sales calls like I do myself. Because when you're in the sales space, you're standing in the direct flow of money. Money is always moving. It's just energy at the end of the day. When you look around you, when you see all this abundance, when you see, you know, maybe walk, walking down the street and you see an expensive car, maybe BMW that's worth $100,000, when you see a house that's worth a million, you have to think about that the fact that someone is behind that, a value source, someone's building it, someone's providing value to society. And that's what you have to ask yourself how am I being of value to society? The value stack. The, the value that you offer to the environment around you decides how much money you're going to make. Let's say McDonald's, for example, you get paid minimum wage because you're doing minimum wage activities. You know, you're boiling, you're, you're frying fries, you're build, making burgers for people, you're, you're managing the drive through. It's very, it's a very low skill set leverage. That's what you get paid. Obviously, as you become a more value, you build a skill set out. That's how you differentiate yourself from. 99% of people. And lastly, you have to become obsessed with this outcome that you want to achieve. Day in, day out, you get up and enjoy the delicious boredom, like I like calling it. Whether that be training, whether that be working on your mindset, whether that be getting in a network of you know vicious killers that are on the same mission and purpose as you. A great book for this is Think and Grow Rich. Napoleon Hill talks about this. Think about a time that you were obsessed with something in life, you know, whether that you, maybe that be in school, maybe that be a girl, maybe that be the gym. When you genuinely become so obsessed with what you want to achieve, you work day in, day out to achieve it relentlessly. And this bleeds into other aspects of your life. Like I'm a big advocate on taking care of your health as first and foremost, as number one, because your health is a fountain of what's going to come in the future for you. You want to make sure that your, your glass is full and then it can pour into other parts of your life. 
but there's nothing that I've created in my life, in my reality now that you can't achieve. And a year ago, like I mentioned, I was sick of where I was at. And I looked at my life and the trajectory I was going in, and it was merely depressing. Working a nine to five, work, working for someone else, building their vision, their mission, but neglecting my own. There's a sense of emptiness that came alongside that. But I took my pen to paper, I got clear on what I want in life. So that's what I'm gonna leave you with on this video is a piece of homework. It's only gonna matter if you do this though. If you jump off of here and you're just looking for more dopamine hits, you can watch more videos than my friend, you're gonna be stuck in the same position you are after watching this. And the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So I wanted to give you a life update of where I'm at in life. And for me, this is just a start. But I want to inspire you. I want to hold you to a higher standard. Look at yourself in the mirror. Ask yourself, are you happy with where you are in life? If you're not, you must start doing things differently. Or you're going to stay exactly where you're at. Ultimately, that decision is in your hands. But I hope you can become inspired and this fire can ignite inside of you because your potential can only be reached when you put in the work. First of all, when you believe in yourself, you build a skill set in a specific category so you can be of value to society. And lastly, become obsessed with your goals. Put the work in day in, day out, and you'll be able to manifest and create the reality that you truly want and deserve. Peace.